All right, boys. Well, here's the start. We just got off work, and uh, we're about to go to o Arkansas. It's uh, Fort Smith, right in between Arkansas and Oklahoma. Going to get my brother's RX-8. So you're going to be coming along for the whole drive. My name is Jerry. I'm running Nevada Performance, and enjoy the video. Wait, 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 We got to pick this up? Wait, 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 yeah, let's go! Company first. <laughs> Go over a curve. <laughs> 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 That's how you get road headed in Yada. <laughs> I love you! See ya, buddy! Yes, sir. We got the shagging wagon out here. We got Jimmy out here. Yes, sir. Oh, Jimmy might not be able to make it with us. No, nobody's gonna keep your dog. We got boy Nathan over here. Yes, sir. We're using the shagging wagon, the bourbon, the 5'3 monster. So we got Jimmy's car, the Miata, the Taurus, the other 5'3. And uh, we were just getting packed up so that we were all good for the uh, for the trip down there. It's about like an eight hour trip with the trailer if we're going the speed limit. And then on the way back, it's definitely gonna be eight hours. And we also have to load up a, a toolbox. So we got a toolbox and everything that I'm getting as well. Jimmy goes to Jersey all the time and it's like nothing to him, right? I would have been able to drive this by myself. Yeah, so. We just like to make sure everything's set up. So we got the toolbox, got everything we need in here. Just backups, we got wrenches. Yeah, I mean, like, you got everything. Sockets. I'm missing a 10 mil, imagine that. Um, hopefully, I, I got I got some 10 mils, I got extras. I've got a jack right here, a Husky torque wrench, uh, ATF fluid, uh, coolant, I believe, diff fluid, extra spark plugs, uh, coil packs, extra wrenches, air pressure thing, funnel. I mean, we got everything. Plus, you can't forget about the sub. We're gonna be bumping all the way down there. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm gonna go shit shower shave. No, <laughs> I, got, I gotta go pee You're so bad. And then uh, we'll, we'll get everything together and then we'll head out. So, enjoy. So yeah, we're gonna go down there. We're gonna cruise to my parents' house, get their trailer, and then we're gonna start going our, on our way. All right, see you later, buddy. See you, have fun. Will do. All right, so we got Bill Sale and everything in here. We got Nathan and Cole. Jimmy can't come because uh, he needs to watch his dog, so it's all good. We'll have plenty of trips like this, guys. Don't worry. This is just the beginning. <laughs> so, all right. Red Bulls, yeah. Cheetos, yeah. crackers, everything to keep us going. And uh, <laughs> the boys, the nuts. Cheetos, yes, sir. Might need that. Yes, exactly. Hell yeah, brother. Hi, Jimmy. All right, first Philip. We got to get some gas from Kroger. Uh, gas is like 278 right now. And uh, then we're gonna get, get some food and we'll jump on the highway. We got the trailer on the back. Looking good. 
all the lights are working, everything is double checked. We're dope. So, go ahead and get some gas. That's the first fill up. We got the uh, trailer on here. We got the bourbon. We just show y'all what we got going on here. The shagging wagon. What's up, guys? We're on the road. Uh, we're on 65. We're about to hit I-40, right? Yeah. Uh, 40 West or whatever. And uh, yeah, we're smooth sailing. We were going about like 80 earlier, and it felt fucking nice. It's nice to say. What do you think, Nathan? Pretty dope. Side. What do you think, Cole? I think it's gonna be a fun time. Turn, turn that camera around. <laughs> Talk to the camera. Don't so, be so, shy. Uh, so, I do with rotaries, and Jared's getting an RX-8, right? Yep. So we're gonna have some fun with it. Check it out. See what uh, what all we can do with it, and uh, you know, just go from there and, and, and really just thrash it or drive it, depending on what he wants to do with it. I mean, we're gonna do both. <laughs> Well, it's my brother's car, man, and I, I really just want to do right by him and, and build it to the way he wanted it, or the way he would have wanted it, you know? Yeah. So, I think that's important. Um, other than that, like, we're just going to build this car up. Um, we've got the Altima, the Miata, and now we have the RX-8. So, I mean, we're building our collection, you know? And then all the other homies, they've all got cars like... Cole's got the uh, yeah, RX-7. So I got my RX-7, so basically we're we're really just missing the uh, the FD and the FB unit, you know? and then we'll have the whole yeah. family. We need to have all of the the RX-7 and, and rotary family. I want to do it. So what I really was thinking the other day is doing a Cosmos uh, three rotor. In yeah. It. Okay. Um, I was really thinking about doing a Cosmos three rotor. I think that would be fucking sick. What do you think? Yeah, that'll be super sick. You know, I mean, I, like, Rob Don put it in his RX-7, which is really cool, and uh, it makes like a thousand horse. Oh yeah, easy horsepower if you got, uh, you know, if you know what you're doing and yeah. if you're willing to spend the money, big bucks. Yeah. And we're going to teach uh, Nathan how to drive trailer. It's simple, but we're just going to teach him the right things to know, and he's just going to have fun <laughs> for like four hours. So, <laughs> um, three to four hours, it's, it's about, what, seven hours there? Yeah, we're looking at seven about hours. seven and a half. Right, yeah. and we're gonna make up some time, and depending on you know speeds and stuff with the trailer, we don't have any load on it, so we can go a little bit faster than if you have load on it. So yeah, we'll see so what happens. So probably give an update in a couple hours, right? Yeah. yeah. Stay tuned. All right. Yep. All right. Ah, oh, no buckles up my ass. Just hold this. Hold the wheel. All right. Good. You're good. You're fucking good. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Don't try this at home. Hey, next time we're going over the top. <laughs> Yo, so you got the vents and everything. You got the air controls, like an airplane. What'd you say you wanted? I want to be a pilot. Why do you want to be a pilot? So the girls can come up to the cockpit. <laughs> Yeah, so what our plan is right now is Cole's gonna catch a nap, get some shut eye and everything. I'm gonna watch on Nathan, it's his first time uh, trailering also, uh, just to keep up on him, make sure he's awake, and then we'll swap out eventually. But, doing good, bro. Yes, sir. All right, well, I'll, I'll catch y'all whenever we uh, swap out. We're in Market, Arkansas, baby. Sir. Yes, sir. Maps up. Alright, we're going on the rest area. We're about to swap drivers. These things gotta be cold. It's still cold. <laughs> Alright, time to go pee pee. What y'all getting? What you get? Gotta get some burritos. Some burritos? Yeah, burritos. Uh, oh, Doritos? I got fruit snacks too. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Fruit snacks. Rios. Yo, RHG 2020. <laughs> Damn, dude. Things <laughs> shrunk. <laughs> this one's like, ah! That man went on the Slim Fit diet. <laughs> it's kind of chilly. It's been chilly out here recently. In Tennessee, it was like, dude, it felt like it was like 50 something degrees today. 
It was ridiculous. Yeah, it was like 94. All right, Cole's gonna be driving. Next up, I'm gonna get some sleep because I'll be driving back with the trailer tomorrow full. So I need to have that rest because it takes a little bit more energy. So um, I'll just get like three hours of a nap. Or, or, no, like not even three hours, like an hour and a half of a nap. And then we'll gotta pick up the car and pick up the toolbox and then we'll be on the way back. So yeah, it's not too bad. I think we went over this way, right? Oh, back to the trailer. Time to get me some sleep. Oh dang, the screwdriver's been holding on, man. Yeah, <laughs> he made it. Larry, Larry made it. All right, Larry, you're going in the back. Pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Someone dropped the sauce and it got on my lanyard and I had to wash it off. So we're all good though. Where did it land? Did it land up there? Hey, you can see it. Oh. <laughs> it looks like a big snot rocket. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We're filling up right now. We're about a quarter of the way. Trailer looks good. Got all the lug nuts on. Air pressure looks good. So the studs are broken these. So I just kind of like doubled up on the on the studs. I was like, well, at least we won't have two lug nuts coming off. Good, only one of them's kind of sketch. The odds are still good. <laughs> <laughs> How's your chips? Delicious. Oh yeah. Hey, what do you think would happen if I turn this? 64 bucks, 23 gallons. Yes, I want a receipt. Mm, thank you, sir. Boy. <laughs> Shoot, boy, I tell you what. Dang, they even got pot pies inside this bitch. Shoot. Shoot. Onward. Oh, yeah, we got these vents. I'm going to be bougie open here. All right, ladies and gents. We're here at Toyota. 508? Yeah, I just fucking woke up. Just knocked out for three hours. Yeah, I know, right? That wasn't too bad. Yes, sir! There it is! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! That right there is just. Pretty. That's good. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. So, the back windows right here because of the damage or something, the latch doesn't work. I guess I'll have to figure that out. Um, really not too bad damage. It just shifted the whole trunk. Um, probably gotta get a new pocket quarter panel and then m match the trunk up, make sure it's good. Other than that, the subframe is replaced. It should be straight. Looks like it's uh, in decent shape. Either way, it don't look too bad. I think it's gonna sound good when it starts up. Hell yeah! <laughs> it did. I mean, my brother went to Import Alliance and everything. Yeah. Louder than your mom. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> This is one of the cleanest uh, RX-8s like, I've seen in a while. It smells like one of my old cars. Just... Let's open the uh, engine bay. I can't believe they left it unlocked. Oh my god. <sighs> I don't want to cry. <laughs> oh, it's got those speakers and everything in this. Uh... Oh my god, dude. <laughs> First rotary. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. This thing is speed clean. intake. Yeah. Clean. Could use a little wipe down, but really no damage on the outside anyway. We'll see what it looks like. 
the only thing is just the back side, the back side of the car. I mean, he took this thing to import lines and like, we need to do donuts in this thing. Look, you don't, you don't even have to adjust the seat. That's good right away, dude. Yeah. It's meant to be. Suicide balloons. Yo, look how clean it is. What this the is heck? probably the cleanest RX-8 I've ever seen. Suicide balloons. Yo. Wow. Yo. And the headliner is just like... So cool. <laughs> I love my brother. He had like everything I liked in mind. Didn't get to share with him that much. Sorry, he'll be riding with me at all times now. Now you're part of the rotary game. I fell in love with like the car when I first started doing donuts. This is the first car I ever did donuts on. Yeah. Like, yeah, we did stuff in my dad's truck, a little bit snowed and stuff like that. This, this is like the first car I ever did shitties in, you know. So like it was meant for you to be a, a rotor head then, to like have a rotary. <laughs> so, I just never knew until now, I guess. What do you think about it? I think I'm excited to work on rotary. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you think about the car itself? Oh, it's clean, dude. All it is is just cosmetic damage. All you really need to do is like find some good coils or bags, whatever you want, and get some wheels in your choice. I gotta get one. Yeah. It's coming true, baby. We're here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's got freaking. It doesn't look like it. This is like fully loaded. Carbon fiber. Yeah. Yep. Heading in, heading out. It's kinda good to get it. Oh. Good. Alright guys, so we're on our third fill up. 
Um, honestly, it's doing, doing amazing, this, this, this bourbon. Um, I think I'm going to probably be filling up like probably one or two more times on the way back, just estimating. But that one trip uh, here, I mean, it was only a tank and a half. Um, so it did really good. We just filled up whenever we needed to and just had extra. So that's, that's all we really had to worry about. Cole's fixing the window. It's, hopefully it doesn't rain on the way back. So yeah, um, it needs a probably a new tail light because it's probably damaged. Um, tail light pocket, which is kind of what's behind it and, and the sheet metal. And then you have um, the corner pocket and then the rear body. We might have to replace the rear body. I think we can actually repair this rear body, just pull it all out, bond some of it. Um, and then we'll see what we can do to fix it up. Um, everything looks fine. It looks like it's aligned. And the car ran straight, so it's good. It's pretty low. Hell yeah. So yeah, just need some air in the tires. Probably need to do a flat repair or something like that on the right front. Either that or valve stem could be leaking, one or the other. No biggie. We work at a tire shop. Love you, brother. I know you're watching. You've been looking out for me and everything in the car. Car stuff that I've been doing has been taking off, bro. I know you're watching. It's been taking off. Taking care of me. Me and the family. Love you, bro. All right, I think this would be one of the last fill ups. We got about under 300 miles left. There you go, that's a little bit stronger. Here's holding on for dear life. It would really suck if this came off in the road and like someone got hit. Put that back in there. What do you think, Cole? Got a nosebleed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Like, got it too quick or elevation or just dehydration? Dehydration was. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> That's more like it. This time I'm driving all the way back myself. The guys needed some sleep because I got like three hours this morning, which is plenty. But they only got like an hour, like half an hour here and there. Hey, Cole, can you describe? How we just walked someone with a trailer on the back? Uh, it was it was easy. It was fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> so we literally had a jeep over here trying to pass us, and we were like, you know, we're just cruising by, you know. And he's like trying to get go around us because we got a trailer, and I'm like, what are you doing? We're already going, you know, we're already going the speed limit. Why are you trying to pass me? Right? Right? Yeah. I don't know what he was doing. He or she. Yeah. Was black. Oh, it's funny. We were just like, yeah. and they let off or something because they're still behind us. We've got a 3,000 pound RX-8 on the back. We got a 1,500 plus pound trailer. We got a 5.3 liter in this, in this baby. And it's a full on SUV with a fucking toolbox in the back. Yeah, with with tools, with a jack, with like backpacks, fully decked out to the brim, and we're still beating ass. Full of jeep, full of jeeps at the same time. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I wish I got video of it because we just totally wrecked this dude <laughs> in a fucking suburban with a trailer on the back. But anyways, we got we got like probably 250 miles left. Um, I went ahead and I started the whole trip all the way back out here and we're going back to Tennessee. We're about to go to Memphis. We're pretty close and after that it's going to be really smooth sailing. I mean right now it's just flat plains and that's it. So, What do you think of Arkansas? Flat. There ain't nothing out here. <laughs> there ain't nothing out here, yeah. He's like round two. <laughs> Alright, let's go down again. I'm keeping up. I didn't have a car in front of me. <laughs> no, oh, there's no oh, way. Shit. What are you trying to do, bro? Yeah, this thing has no brakes. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> like, 
Oh shit. Oh, yeah, the sky is nice. It's a nice day. Nice day for racing. Yes, sir. With trailers. And RX8s. Yep. Man, all I'm saying is I want to go on a cruise after I air those damn tires up. Yep. They deserve to be celebratory burned. Oh, yeah, we're going to do a burnout. Oh, yeah, you see that trailer next to us? Yeah. We're going to try to get past that. He <laughs> <laughs> was going around that turn, and it was like, ah, and I was like, oh. He's like, just... what the hell are you doing? Yeah. What should we do, homie? <sighs> I've been having, like, energy all day because, like, I don't know, earlier whenever I first started driving, I was like, man, I'm freaking tired. And then I poured water on my face, and I was like, let's fucking get it. <laughs> and, then, and we're good now. Oh, at the Waffle House? Uh, or, I, I washed my it? face at Waffle House. And then, yeah, it was like yeah, a sink shower in that yeah, one. Yeah, uh, a horse bath. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so, and we went, on the, we went on the road, and then they were asleep, and I was like, I'm just going to like dab some water on my eyes. And then my eyes have been squinty, but I'm okay. It's been a pretty good drive, honestly. These seats are like fucking pillows. So you, know, you don't even have to worry about it. I'm sitting in a sofa right now. I'm in a lazy boy. Like, driving this thing. Yeah, these seats, they're like all cloth. Yeah, and like, I'm over here just like chilling out. Like, one finger. Uh, that's how I've been <laughs> driving the trailer all day. It's just with one finger. <laughs> tired. Yeah. I uh, just woke up and, and ran a nosebleed. <laughs> out of nowhere. It's crazy. I thought I was going to die. But we're here. So what was your first initial thought? Like I know like in the video we have you know some of the footage, but like what is your first initial thought on the car? It's clean. Yeah. Um I wasn't sure if it was gonna start up and run good or not. And it did it, it didn't sound like I thought it would. It's really it's a lot quieter. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty tame. It's it has the wraps, but it's more of a steady yeah, steady it's not like bridge port or anything. Yeah. Alright, well, we're gonna get through all this traffic and uh, all that stuff. So, I'll see you guys when we get past the Memphis Bridge and shit. What do you think of this bridge? I think this bridge is small. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's really small. Oh, shit. <laughs> Alright, now that we uh, made it past that death trap of the bridge. We got the windows rolled down, except for Cole, because he can't roll his down. <laughs> yeah, we're broken. We're broken. Yeah, so we're cruising. Oh, dude. This guy. Don't <laughs> laugh. Yes, sir. Alright, this is actually, uh, wait, did I say third or fourth? I didn't even fill up with the other one. Okay, I think this is a fourth fill up, but I didn't even fill up the other one uh, that I videoed at because gas is way too expensive and it wasn't accepting my card because of the weird, there's something weird going on, so. That was the gas station, not me. My card works. What are you talking about? The shagging wagon. The what? Ooh, it's got a sunroof. It's got a Bose speaker system inside. It's manual. It's sick. I'm gonna go run by um, O'Reilly's, pick up a battery, throw it in there, um, and then I'll load it at my mom's house and start it up. Shit. <laughs> oh. You said break? <laughs> Miles Roddy. All right, guys, we made it to White House. Holy crap. Holy crap, freaking made it all the way. All right, so now we gotta go ahead and pull the battery out of this thing, get the battery back in, and then uh, start it up, make sure it all works, and then go to the house, drop it off, drop the trailer off, go back home in the car. And uh, then we'll be done with the trip. All right, cool. Are you giving them the, the battery as a core? Yeah.
dance at the streets. Yeah, something with the idol. We'll figure it out. Yeah, it's got a deep tone. It's not real raspy. to get some of the drifting but the trailer was so shaky and it's okay yeah you got it all right we're driving it back to the crib 
Mom just drove it and everything. It was really cool. Mom just hopped in, started driving manual like like it was nothing. She actually used to have an RX-7 FB. A generation before Colts. So. He's nice. Yes. My dad remembers them. He never had one. That was a successful trip. Cold as farted. It went immaculate. I could not, like, there's a reason why it went the way it did. Like, it went so flawless, in my opinion. It really did. Like, no breakdowns, no trailer problems, no car problems. Car started up. I mean, oh, dead yeah, battery, that, that, but. It just wanted to drive. You know? It just wanted to drive. Yeah. It wanted to come here. Yeah. My brother wanted to come here as well, one of the talks, but dude, it's, it's, it's here, it's mine. We're gonna do some cool stuff to the car. We're gonna make it the way my brother would've wanted it with a little bit of Nivea performance magic. You know what I'm saying? But uh, it, it's super dope. Me and TJ are gonna fix the rear quarter panel and all the body. Come on. Now it's not, now it's not cool. No, but we're gonna fix the rear Pour the panel and do the body damage, uh, fix all that up, and then repaint it, and it'll be fine. Everything else runs fantastic, amazing. I mean, maybe some new tires, whatever. The car needs some work to be top notch, but better than most cars on the road already. As far as RX-8s go, like, this is this is great. Yeah, this is. This is cheat codes. <laughs> I was, I mean, I will say one thing to you guys. I've been like praying about things. I want to like be successful, make the best performance something real. And I've been working really hard for it. I've been praying about it. And like right all of a sudden, you know, all these things are starting to fall together into place. And, and this is after my brother passed away. I think he's looking out, looking out for me. And you know, I got God looking over for me. That's the way I believe it, and that's where I'm going to go about it. So I'm going to keep on doing what I'm doing, and believing in God, and continuing having faith in Him, and knowing that He's going to take care of me, and my brother's looking out for me. I got my bros, Cole, and I got Nathan over here. Like, I've got good foundation and good people. I just got to capitalize on it, and keep on working hard, and have fun with cars. Hey, it's real out here. We got the Miata, we got the GTI, we got the Bourbon, Shaggin' Wagon, and then we got the RX-8 up front. I couldn't be any happier. The Shaggin' Wagon freaking, it was a gladiator, it fucking, it took off. That thing, it went through the whole trip like nothing ever happened. And it is awesome. And it's got 300 and how many? 328,000 miles on it. It's a 5.3 liter LS. Why do you think I'm going LS swap on the Ultima? I don't know. So anyways, um, the next biggest road trip would be going to SEMA. Or there might be some in between, but SEMA's the biggest road trip of the year. And I hope you all get to uh, watch that and enjoy it. And we're building a shop at Renegade Racing right now so that we can finish the Ultima so that I can trailer his Civic on the back of the Ultima on the way to SEMA, from Nashville to SEMA. It's gonna be pretty sick. Oh yeah. So anyways guys, I appreciate y'all for watching. RIP to my bro, Dalton Elkins. He's been gone for a few months now, but he's, he's with us right now. We got the car and it's only the start from here. So his car and himself, his legacy lives on and everybody's gonna know about it. So, love you Dalton. I'll see you later. Peace out. Yeah.